welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and I currently live in the Dominican Republic. Today I'm doing a video about cell service abroad or more specifically in the Dominican Republic. But to begin, I want to start off by talking about my experience in Honduras. Let me first say that I am very fortunate and blessed to still be on my family phone plan in the US, but my family phone plan does not include international service because really I'm the only one who travels in my family so that just doesn't make sense for us. So we don't have any sort of international roaming or service or any way to connect to the internet if you're not within the United States. So when I moved abroad I basically depended on Wi-Fi. So I first moved to Honduras and there I just decided that I would just depend on Wi-Fi. This worked out fine in most cases, but I do know that if I wanted to get cell service, it would have been pretty easy to get a Honduran SIM card and then just recharge it with some data whenever I needed. But while I was there, I, as I mentioned, I depended only on Wi-Fi. So the place where I lived had Wi-Fi, my school had Wi-Fi, my friend's house had Wi-Fi, and honestly, those were basically the three places that I was at most of the time. If I was in transit somewhere, maybe I wouldn't be having my phone out anyways, but if someone needed to reach me, the messages wouldn't arrive. This did create some problems at times when, for example, I decided to meet my friends at the mall, but I got there and then I couldn't find them and I kept looking for them and looking for them <laughs> and I tried to ask a coffee shop for the password to their Wi-Fi because I just couldn't contact them without Wi-Fi. So yes, there were a couple cases like that where I got lost or something. Yeah, another time I was going to meet them at a restaurant, but then I thought I knew where this restaurant was, but I could not find it for the life of me. <laughs> and it was dark and it was rainy. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going home. So I got home and then they were like, where were you? And because my coworkers who I lived near or with also were friends with the same people. And they were like, they were worried about you sending messages. And I was like, oops. <laughs> so yes, a couple of times it, became a problem, but I didn't really need cell service that much. So for me, I just decided it seemed like a hassle. I wasn't gonna worry about it. And so I just depended on wife and kept my phone basically on airplane mode for the entire nine months I was there. Here, I was actually gifted a prepaid Claro SIM card. What this means is I don't have a cell plan like most people have in the US that you pay monthly for a certain amount of data. No, what I do is I just have this in my phone. I have another number so I can make calls on my phone, but I don't have data. I don't have calls or minutes unless I put money into the account. So what I have to do, and I'll put it on the screen what I'm doing. I do have the option to recharge my account and just keep it loaded with money, but normally what I do is when I know I'm gonna need data for the day or for a few hours, whether I'm out with friends and I wanna keep in contact with other people or whatever it may be, what I do is at the beginning of the day, I can either go to a Colmado that has Claro recharges, or if I have my card added in my account, then I can just add money directly from there. So last year I actually did not have a bank account, but this year now that I do, I have a card, I added it to my Claro account, so that makes it even simpler than last year trying to find a Claro dealer or someone who does recharges of the internet. So yes, that makes it a lot easier this year. I just recharge it using my card, I send maybe 50 pesos over, that's less than $1, and with that I can buy internet for the whole day. So I get one gig, or if I run out of that, it'll still let me roam or at least have some internet, but honestly one gig is not usable in one day, usually, unless you're streaming something, I don't know. But normally that is perfectly fine for me to last the whole day. So if I know I'm going to be traveling that day, going out or doing whatever, then maybe I'll buy that gigabyte so then I can order Ubers or contact people, whatever it may be. So it's actually fairly simple. They have different options. You can buy the gig one gig for a day. You can buy, I think, three gigs for three days and then five gigs for five days. And you have those three options for the unlimited amounts of data. Then you also have hourly options. So there's an option to pay 10 pesos for 10 MB, I don't really know what that abbreviation is for, but 10 MB for one hour and then there's different amounts you can buy for one hour, three hours, and seven hours. So that's nice if you don't need that much data and if you just buy that, it'll always be 30 pesos, 10 pesos, 20 pesos. So there's not a lot of money, that's 50 cents or less. So those are the options you have for buying different packages when you need it. So that's what I really like about this prepaid service is that I don't need a plan, I don't need to pay something every month and then work 
worry about, oh, am I really using this? Because in reality, the fact of the matter is here I am still using Wi-Fi most of the time. My apartment has Wi-Fi, my school has Wi-Fi, my gym has Wi-Fi, and I don't really go that many other places. So for me, it works out perfectly fine just to have that prepaid plan that I just add money to when I need, then I use that money to buy a plan for the day or for a few hours. And then when it runs out, it runs out. Usually I'm back home at that point or I don't need it. And yeah, it's actually fairly simple, fairly cheap. And I really like this service actually. Sometimes Claro can be not so great. This is a problem that a lot of people have. I mean, it's just kind of unreliable sometimes. And I know this because even my the Wi-Fi we have here is connected through Claro. So sometimes it's not the greatest internet, but it's almost, it's almost a monopoly here. I think Altis is also another service you can get internet through, but I don't have any experience with Altis. Overall, I really think it's worth it to just get a SIM card, a prepaid SIM card, and then you just load it with money as needed. If you don't end up using all the money that you load, for example, there's usually a minimum of 50 pesos that you can add on to your account at one time. If I recharge it with 50 pesos and then I buy just like a seven hour plan for maybe 30 pesos, then that 20 pesos will expire in one week. But then if you add more money one week later, then you can still access the 20 pesos. So it's not like it just completely disappears. Sometimes the money does disappear. <laughs> I think that's usually when I'm making calls, but I'm not entirely sure what that's about, but it's not usually significant amounts. So overall, yes, it is worth it to have a SIM card and it makes for much more ease of mind knowing that I can recharge it on the go because there's also a number that you can call even if you don't have data and you're out somewhere. You can just type in, I think it's star 122 pound and then it'll give you options and guide you through buying a package or recharging with an amount of pesos. So that's something that you can also do if you're on the go and you didn't think to buy internet before when you still had Wi-Fi. There's still that option. Usually the app also should work even if you don't have data if you're on the go out with Wi-Fi. So in conclusion, honestly, it's been really worth it to have the data. I don't really have a fear of going out anymore because in Honduras, I mentioned this in a different video, but in Honduras there were taxis, so I didn't need Wi-Fi, but here to flag down a taxi is not really going to be as safe as ordering an Uber, so it is preferable to have the data when I go out and then order the Uber to get back. So it is nice to have that peace of mind that I can just get internet on the go. Now that I have my card attached to my account, that makes it so much easier so I I can just recharge on the go without having to go to a Claro station or find um, a place in the mall that sells it. It's a lot easier to just recharge it using my card. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for someone. If you come here, even if you're staying for a short amount of time or you don't have international data, I would say it's worth it to have a SIM card. It's not that expensive. I think you can get it for maybe 150 pesos and then most of those pesos are actually pre-loaded onto your account. So the actual SIM card costs, I think, it costs less than $3, that's for sure. So it's honestly worth it. If you just get the prepaid SIM card, you don't have to pay anything monthly. When you leave the country, you can just take it out of your phone, save it in case you go back. And yeah, overall, it's really simple. And I do recommend having it, even if you think you'll be mostly on Wi-Fi like I am. It's still nice to have for those times that you are out, you need to order an Uber, you need to find something on a map. It is good for peace of mind to have that option. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps someone and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!